What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a 30 minute glutes and hamstrings workout. If we've not met before, hi, my name's Margaret, I'm 26. I'm a certified Pilates instructor currently living in Colorado, not for much longer though, so don't get too attacked. For today's workout, you will be needing a resistance band, and a small ball. If you have those, go ahead and grab onto them. If you don't have them, it's not a big deal. Today's workout is a part of my daily 30 minute on-demand program that I've created for my Pilates membership. So if you love this, I will leave the information down below on where to find more workouts like this. And with that, we're gonna jump right into things. We'll start down on our mat, just like we always do. Find a cross-legged position, get comfortable, take your hands right to the top right to the tops of your legs. We'll take a big inhale, breathing in through the nose, filling the body up with air. And then we'll exhale out through the mouth. Let it all go. Good. Three more like that. Nice big inhale. And then we can exhale out. Let it go. Good. We'll go for two. Big inhale. And then exhale out. Let it go. Last one. Big inhale. And then we can exhale out. Let it go. Good. With that last exhale, if you've got your ball in your lap like I do so it doesn't roll away from you, go ahead and put it off to the side. We're just going to take the legs so they come right in front of us or the feet right in front of you. Hands go behind you. We'll just take an inhale, drop the knees over towards the right. We'll exhale, take it up to center, and then inhale, drop over towards the left. Exhale, center. Inhale to the right. Exhale, center. And then over to the left. Let's do it one more time, each side over towards the right. And then we'll go over towards the left. Good, and with that last one right there, we're gonna lay all the way down onto our mat. We'll do a couple more like warm up stretches right here. Just lay all the way out. You're gonna put the right leg out in front of you. We're gonna pull the left knee in towards the chest, reaching right behind the hamstring. Now just pull in, be pretty gentle with it. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. We're just gonna take an inhale, kick the left leg up to straight, and then exhale, flex your foot, bend your knee, pull it right back down. For three more, we'll point the toe, kick up, and then flex the foot. Pull it down. We'll go for two. And then last one. Good. With that last one, we'll let go of the left leg. We'll do the same thing on the right. I should have started on the right. Didn't think of that. Uh, interlace your fingers behind the right hamstring. We'll take an inhale. Kick that right leg up to straight. Exhale. Flex your foot. Pull the heel towards the glute. Three more. Kick up and then bend in. We'll go for two. And then last one. Awesome, awesome. Okay, with that last one, we'll slide the right leg out to straight carefully. It doesn't have to be gracefully. You'll just roll yourself up. We'll grab onto our resistance band and you're gonna take that band so it goes just about in the center of it, your thighs. So step into it. I'd say put it right about where like the end of your skirt would be if you were wearing a tight skirt best visual I can give you. From there, we're gonna lay all the way down onto our mat feet. We'll come just about hips distance apart. Hands come down by your sides. Roll those shoulders down and back. Now, before we even start to bridge, I just want you to take an inhale. See where things are landing. See if you can press down a little bit deeper into your heels, maybe get some of those wiggles out. I always have wiggles once we lay down. We're gonna take an exhale, just press those knees out. And then inhale, you'll pull right back in. That's all it is. Exhale, you're gonna press out. Inhale, you take things in. Now we'll try and maintain even pressure throughout the foot. We're pressing down into the heel, into the outside edge of the foot, and even into the big toe. Just give me four more like this. Four. Good, we'll go for three. For two. And then last one. Oop, <laughs> knees will come back through center. That was a shock. If your band rolls, that's okay. Feet come back to center. We're gonna take an exhale, press down into the heels, tuck the tailbone under. Try and maintain the same amount of tension onto your band. Press up to the top of your bridge, take an inhale right there, and then exhale, you're gonna tuck the tailbone under, roll yourself all the way back down. Now, if you have one of these rubber resistance bands like I do, and it starts to roll and it's bugging you, just ditch it, you don't need it. You guys know by now, uh, accessories are fun. They're something that add to our movement practice, but they are not necessary. 
right? And I know you know this, if you've done any no equipment workout with me before, whether it's in a live class an on-demand recording or even on YouTube, some of my no equipment workouts, like sometimes the no equipment workouts are harder than the equipment workouts. <laughs> Good. Okay, next time that you press your hips up to the top of that bridge, you get to hold it right there. We're just gonna take presses out on the band. So you'll press out, pull in, press out, pull in. Think about trying to initiate that press out from the glutes and not from the knees. Good, I hear from a lot of you that sometimes in bridges, you have a hard time feeling the hamstrings and feeling the glutes. So stuff like this is gonna help us. And with every time that you practice with me, I want you to focus, you know, a little bit more on, on deepening your mind muscle connection, you know, just a little bit deeper every class. Let's do four more four, for three, for two, last one. We'll bring the knees back through center. We take 10 tiny pulses in the hips. You go one inch down, press one inch back up. We'll go down and then up. I stopped counting, I think that's seven, six, good for five, four, three, two, last one, and then we'll lower the hips all the way down. Now, once you get down there, if your band did roll, go ahead and readjust it. For me, that is the most irritating thing about using a resistance band. It's like, they're so, they are such a helpful tool, but man, are they annoying. <laughs> Once you reset your band, you've got it at a spot that you want it. We're going to anchor the left heel down into the mat. You're going to get a little bit lighter through your right foot. We'll take a big exhale right here. I want you to press down into the heel. You're going to lift up into a single leg bridge, driving the right knee in towards you. Inhale. You're going to lower things back down, tapping down to the mat. Big exhale, pull up. Inhale, take it down. Okay, so we're pulling back on that band, pulling the leg towards us, and we're starting to really heat up into our left side. Single leg bridges, I find, are what um, is most helpful to really connect into the glute and into the hamstring. I feel like I've done these single leg bridges in like every class that I've taught in the last two weeks. <laughs> Let's just do four more, four. Three for two. And then last one, we're going to lower all the way down and then just swap out the feet through center. Take a second, reset, press a little bit deeper into your right heel. We'll get lighter in the left toes. When you're ready, it's a big exhale. Press down into the heel. You're going to lift up, driving the knee to the chest. Inhale, tap down, make it explosive. Now your tailbone's gonna tap down to the mat each time. So although it is tempting to kind of uh, breeze past that step, try not to. Good. Let's do four more. Four. For three. For two. And then last one, we lower all the way down, drop the hips, drop the left foot, take a second, breathe. One more bridge variation to move through right here. Hands come back down by your sides. We'll take a big inhale, whoo. And then exhale, we press down into the heels. You're gonna tuck the tailbone under, press up into the top of your bridge, hold right there. When you're ready, we take an exhale, press into the left heel. You're gonna lift that right knee up, lower it down. Shift your weight to the right side, lift the left knee up, lower it down, we keep going right side and then left side. If you wanna lower your hips a little bit, go ahead and lower the hips. I know for me, I always feel like I need to get much closer to the mat in order to do this at all, really. <sighs> Cause it gets kind of wobbly. Okay, if you feel good, you get to kick the leg up once your knee comes up above your hip. If you don't like that, no worries. We'll do four more each side, four, and four, for three, and three. Oh, there we go, for two, and two, and then last one, 
Yeah, note one with that last one, left foot comes down. You lower the hips all the way down. Good news right here, we're gonna ditch the band. So just slide it off of your legs. I need to get a fabric band that moves a little bit better. Toss your band off to the side. We're gonna roll ourselves all the way up. And then once you come up, just butterfly the feet. Open up through the knees. You're gonna take a little forward fold right there. Big inhale. And then exhale, we're gonna let things go. Good. Okay, from right here, we're gonna grab onto our ball and we'll pop up into a tabletop position. Both hands are gonna come down, both knees come down, and actually let me flip around so we can start on the right leg, just so we stay even. We're just gonna take the ball and you'll bring it right behind your knee on the right side. Both hands down, you spread out through the fingertips. We'll press down into that left knee, into the top of the left foot. I want you to point the right toes. You're just gonna give me an inhale, lift that right leg up, squeezing onto the ball. And then exhale, pull it, no. Exhale, you're gonna lift up, inhale, pull it back down. <laughs> oh, can you tell my brain's getting a little bit fried from filming these workouts? <laughs> just kidding, I'm fine, don't worry about me. Good, so here we're gonna feel a lot more hamstring, which is good, it's what I want for you. Connecting into the hamstring in turn connects us into the glute, right? Connects us a little bit better into the backside body. It's always what we want. Awesome. Next time that you lift the leg, you get to hold it right there. We'll flex the foot. You're gonna squeeze the heel to the hip and then release. Squeeze in, release for 10 more. 10 for nine. We'll go eight, seven, six, nice and slow for five, four, three, two, last one. Point your toe, inhale, lower the knee down, exhale, press it right back up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. You've got a good grip on that ball. Hamstring should be lighting up just a little bit or a lot of it. Good, you're gonna do four more like this. Four. For three. Good, two. And then last one, you lift up and hold, flex the foot. We squeeze in, release. Squeeze in, release for 10 more. 10, good, for nine. Eight seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, we're gonna pull the knee all the way down. You'll keep the ball right where it's at. We're just gonna drop down onto our left forearm, keeping the right hand down on the mat. I always get so sweaty right here. We'll keep our left knee down. That's gonna stay your supporting leg. Point through your toe. You're gonna give me an exhale. Open your right knee out towards the right side of the room and then inhale, pull it right back in. And your knees might get a little bit staggered right there. That's perfectly fine. Good. If you're like me and your foot always starts to cramp, you can play around with the point and flex of your foot. Totally cool. Good, and then just check in with the rest of your body. Oftentimes when we get into a tabletop position, we start to shift our weight one way, either into the supporting leg or the supporting side, or we shift it kind of forward into the arms, okay? I want you to stay pretty light through the forearm, light through the hands, so light that if I asked you to lift your hand, you could do it. Good, next time that you open that right leg up, you get to hold it right there, flex the foot, we squeeze in and release, in, Release for 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, point your toe. You're gonna pull that knee in, open it right back up. Bring it in, open out, good. Just keep breathing for four more, four, for three, two, last one, open, hold, flex the foot, squeeze in, release, in, release, for 10 more, 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three. <sighs> Last one, we're gonna pull that right knee down, release the ball, grab onto it with your hands, and then you're gonna lay yourself all the way down onto your mat. I'm hopeful that I don't smash my mic here. Um, we're going to get all the way down and I want you to take the ball. We're going to, oh gosh, <laughs> don't ditch it. We're going to put it right in between our ankles and then you'll do a slight little turnout of the toes. So heels are pulling in, toes are turning out. We're going to lower down onto our forearm, stack one hand right on top of the other, and then just rest your head onto your hands. From right here, we're squeezing onto the ball and right away we should feel a squeeze in the glutes. So bringing the heels together, squeezes into our glutes, gets into our hamstrings. We're gonna take a big exhale right here. You lift the legs off of the mat, squeeze those glutes. Inhale, take it right back down. Exhale, you're gonna lift up. Inhale, you take it down. Lift up, lower down for four more. Four, for three. Two, and then last one. Good, we're gonna point the toes, release the legs out. All we do right here is exhale, bend the knees, pull the heels towards the hips. Inhale, release it right back out. Exhale, we pull it in. Inhale, release it out. Good. Again, a lot of hamstrings. I should have called this a hamstring focus class, but in my opinion, training the hamstrings also trains the glutes. We'll do four more. Four. For three. Good. Try to keep your head down on your hands. Two. And then last one. Good. Again, you're going to keep your knees bent. Open the knees out a little bit wider. Turn the heels in, toes out, flex the feet. Big exhale, press up. Inhale, take it down. Exhale, press up. Inhale, bring it down. I'll just have you do four more. Four. For three. For two. And last one, we're gonna turn those toes back in, point the toes, inhale, release. Exhale, pull the heels towards the hips. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull in. We'll go for six more. Six. For five, for four, three, two, and then last one. Good. With that last one, bend the knees, reach back behind you for the ball. You're going to let the legs go out behind you. Put the ball off to the side for a second. Hands come underneath the shoulders. You're going to press yourself all the way up and then reach the hips back to the heels, finding a child's pose. Whew, got a little bit sweaty there. Oops. We'll take a big inhale right here. Exhale out, let it all go. And then from right here, when you're ready, we'll just take it back into a tabletop position. I'm gonna flip around so that I don't whack the wall as we move through the left leg. Both hands are gonna come down. We'll take the ball this time so it comes behind the left knee. Both hands are down. We've got shoulders right on top of the wrist. And then we're stable in that right side. Hip on top of the knee. You're pressing down into the top of the right foot. Let's point the left toe. You're gonna exhale, lift that leg up. Inhale, we'll bring it right back down. Big exhale up. Inhale, bring it right back down. Four more. Four. We'll go for three. For two. And then last one, lift and hold, flex the foot. We squeeze in and release. In, release. For 10 more. 10. Good. For nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Point the toe. You're going to inhale, pull the knee in. Exhale, press it up. Inhale in. Exhale, press up. Now, if you can see a side view of your body in the mirror, I want you to look over to the side. Make sure shoulders are staying stacked on top of the wrist. Okay, you've got even weight, <laughs> even weight distribution between both hands and that right knee. 
Good. Okay, next time you press the left leg up, you get to hold it there. Flex the foot. We squeeze in, release. Squeeze in, release for 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Last one. Pull that left knee down. Take a second. Take a second. Okay, breathe. We're going to drop down onto our right forearm and the left hand. Right knee will stay where it's at. The ball's going to stay where it's at behind the left knee. Okay, we're light in the forearms, light in the upper body. You can flex your foot, point your toe, whatever feels better. You're going to exhale, open the knee out towards the left. Inhale, pull it right back in. Don't let go of that ball. Open up, pull it home. Open up, take it in for four more, four We'll go for three. Awesome. Two. And then last one, open, hold, flex the foot. We squeeze in and release. In, release for 10, for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, you can point the toe, pull the knee in, and then big exhale, open right back out. Inhale, take it in, exhale, open out. Now at this point, you're probably feeling a lot more work happening on the right side than you are on the left side, that's okay. Very normal, open and close. For four more, four, good, for three, for two, Last one, open, hold, flex that foot, squeeze in, release. In, release for 10 more, 10, for nine. We'll go for eight, ooh, ouch, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, go ahead and bring things in. You're gonna grab onto the ball, Put it off to the side, okay? And then one more time, we're gonna lay all the way down onto our mat and we'll take our last little series from right there. So just go ahead and bring things all the way down. Ah. You scream a little bit, maybe. <laughs> okay, hands are gonna come in front of you. You'll stack one hand on top of the other. It doesn't really matter um, which way you go. Open the legs up so that they're about mat's distance apart. And then we'll lower the head down onto the hands. From right here, we take a big exhale. You're gonna press down into the front of the hips into the pubic bone. We'll lift the legs up off of the mat. And then inhale, you're gonna lower right back down. Okay, so it's a lot of glute strength right here. Squeezing the glutes to lift the legs. And then we inhale, release it back down. And just keep breathing through this. Sometimes this can be a little bit intense, um, especially depending on how much back extension you have in your existing routine. I always try to do a fair amount with you guys every week. Three more, three for two. And then last one. Good, we're gonna lower down, take a second, breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Whew. Okay, when you're ready, we lift the legs back up. We're gonna squeeze the heels together, squeeze the glutes. Inhale, open the legs back out for 10 more. Squeeze in, release out for nine, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Open the legs, drop them down, take a second. Breathe. We'll move through that one more time. This time, if you wanna change up your body positioning, take the forearms so that they come um, all the way down to the mat. Elbows are gonna go down. You're gonna lift up through your chest. So we get a little bit more extension right here. If this doesn't work, drop all the way back down to that first position. We'll take a big exhale, press into the hips. You're gonna squeeze the glutes, lift the legs. Inhale, drop it right back down. Now your gaze is gonna be forward, but still a little bit down. Right, our spine's in like super extension right now. So just be mindful. Good. 
Let's go for four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. You're going to lift up and hold it right there. We squeeze the heels together. Maybe they touch, maybe they don't. Inhale, release for 10 more. 10. Good. Seven. Six. Oh. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. We're going to drop the legs and then you'll press yourself up off of your mat, reaching the hips all the way back to the heels, finding that child's pose. Ooh, who knew a 30 minute glute workout would be so ouchy. Just kidding. I knew. We'll take a big inhale right here. Fill everything up with air. Good. And then let's exhale out. Let it all go. Perfect. From right here, when you're ready to come up, we're just going to lift up into a tabletop position. Both hands will go down, both knees will go back. We'll take a couple of cat cows. Inhaling to arch at the back, you're going to open up the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. And then exhale, we press into the heels of the hands. You'll curve the spine, looking to the tops of the legs, pointing the crown of the head down. Two more like that. We'll inhale, arch at the back. And then exhale around the spine. Awesome. One more. Arch at the back. And then press away. Awesome. With that, we're just going to reach the hips back towards the heels. Swing the legs out towards the left so that you come up into a seated position. From right there, you can come just about to the center of your mat. Feet will go out in front of you. Hands are going to reach behind you. I always need to stall when we get into stretching. Right foot stays down. We'll cross the left ankle over the top of the right knee. And we'll take a figure four stretch from right there. Probably this will feel fine. If you want a little bit more, sometimes I like to tilt this shape over towards the right and kind of elongate the, uh, the muscle right here. Good. We'll take a big inhale. We're going to exhale out, let it go. We'll pull things back to center, swapping out the feet. Left foot goes down, right ankle over the top of the knee. Press up and away from the hands, opening up the chest, dropping shoulders away from the ears. Big inhale to fill up with air. Exhale out, let it go. Good. Maybe shifting the shape over towards the left. It's a little ouchy though. We'll take a big inhale, fill everything up with air. And then exhale out. Let's let it go. Bring things back through center. We'll uncross the ankle, slide the legs out to straight, anchor down into the hips. We'll take a big inhale, reach the arms up and around overhead. And then exhale, we'll just hinge at the hips, forward fold, reaching down for the feet. Good. Big inhale right here. Exhale, see if you can get a little bit deeper into that fold. Good, one more deep breath, big inhale. Awesome, and then we'll exhale out, let it go. Good, when you're ready to come up out of this, we'll just come back up to seated. You're gonna scooch forward just a little bit. That same stretch that we did up top, we're gonna do that to finish up here. So lay all the way down onto your mat. Legs are gonna reach out in front of you. We'll inhale to bend the left knee in and you can interlace your fingers behind that left hamstring. Just pull the knee in towards the chest. See if maybe you feel a little bit looser. Maybe you're able to get a little bit deeper in towards the chest. And then when you're ready, it's an inhale, point the toe, you kick the left leg up. You'll exhale, flex the foot, bend the knee, pull the heel to the hip. Inhale, point the toe, kick the leg. Exhale, flex the foot, pull the heel to the hip. For two more, point the toe. And then flex the foot. And then last one, we point the toe. And then flex the foot. With that last one, unclasp your leg. Let the left leg slide out. We'll pull the right leg in, pulling the knee to the chest, interlacing the fingertips behind that right hamstring, pulling the knee in towards the chest. I always feel a nice release at the hip right here. My hips are super tight. I know a lot of yours are too. When you're ready, point through the toe. You'll take an inhale, kick the leg up. Exhale, flex the foot, bend the knee, pull the heel to the hip. Point the toe, kick up, flex the foot. Bend it in. We'll do three more. Point the toe, kick the leg, flex the foot, pull it home. 
for two. And then last one. Awesome. With that last one, we'll slide the legs so it goes all the way out to straight. Reach the arms up above the shoulders. Big inhale, roll those shoulders down and back. And then exhale, we'll tuck chin to chest. You're going to roll everything up so that we come up through seated. And then take one last big forward fold, reaching over for the toes. Big inhale right here. Exhale out, we'll let it go. And then when you're ready, go ahead and roll yourself all the way back up to seated. You are all finished for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed this workout. If you did, as always, please let me know by leaving me a comment down below. And if you want more workouts like this, again, you can find daily 30 minute workouts on my Pilates membership. I will leave that information down in the description box below. Remember, you guys are awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to, and I will see you in our next video. I just can't resist, oh. You got me drunk in love, drunk